You know, just when you think that slavery was abolished, right? Just look at this horrendous picture here. A new type of slavery has emerged, right? Specifically in the tech field where companies that are making billions and billions of dollars take advantage of millions and millions of gig workers around the world and treat them in the same f fashion, you know, through the algorithms, the abuse. I mean, we are literally, literally um, slaves to these tech companies, the way they treat us. And uh, they crack the whip on the top. They demand, they squeeze more and more uh, work out of us. And where are these administrations, right, that are supposed to intervene and introduce checks and balance? And I'm talking both administrations, right, failed us horribly and allow this type of tech abuse to go on. And I apologize for using this picture and I apologize to any African or African American, if this picture hurts you, I'm using this as an example, right, of what people like these Lyft executives here, and we're going to go through them one by one by one. I'm going to call them out because they're all slave drivers. They all know what they are doing. They're all part of this organized slavery, right? by writing programs, by hiring engineers and fucking over hardworking millions and millions of gig workers around the world. And add to the mix here, here right on the top, you have Logan Green, the CEO, president, but you can add straight to the mix, uh, CEO, David Risha. Yes, and you are, you're all slave drivers and you're treating, you're treating workers like slaves. And again, this is a complete different type of slavery here. It's just, maybe it's, we can call it tech slavery. Um, this didn't take place on the plantations, on the fields. This is taking place in cars where you have head offices and you have millions of little worker bees that are being whipped every single day. Sorry to say it that way, but um, I appreciate, I appreciate channels that can say it as it is. That's why I have mad respect for a guy like Jeff Watts, Mike Drop Barbecue, because he can use the word, uh, um, you know, slavery. As an African American living in Phoenix, he can say, "Listen, this is this is the same type of abuse. We have to call it as we see it." Right? The drivers are plantation workers, and people on the top here, these executives. We're going to call them all out. You people running the show are slave drivers and you're going to own that title it's a brand that we're putting on you right you know how you brand a cow every single one of these guys can bend over will pull their pants or their panties down and will fucking put a stamp on their ass right in their skin <laughs> slave driver i'm a lift slave driver right we've got to say it as it is my friends we cannot be afraid um it's the same type of abuse that took place in my country, when a very, very small minority ruled uh, during apartheid, was wrong on every single fucking level, right? And you cannot work together and respect each other, no matter what color, no, whatever religion, you're not going to go anywhere in life. You're not going to get anything else is just selfish, selfishness or greed or self-interest. So keep on fighting. Don't allow this slavery to uh, take place end this type of tech slavery. And I want to call out the tech uh, slave drivers by name who are implementing a model hurting people around the world, but they don't care a fuck as long as they get their $250,000 minimum upwards, right up to $25 million a year. They don't care a fuck, but we still have to hold the mirror up to them and show them, look at you. You're the same type of breed as that individual, right? You're the same type of breed as this individual. Every person that I'm going to call out right now is the same type of breed as this individual. Here we go. So 
Let's 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 put your names down in history because you're going to go down as the tech slave drivers, right? Chris Lambert, CTO, serves as the CTO of Lyft, slave driver. That's who you are. Joy Howard, Chief Marketing Officer, slave driver. Emily Nishi, Chief People Officer, you're a slave driver. And I mean that when I use that phrase, right? Don't think I'm just using this lightly because that's how people perceive you. When you're walking around San Francisco and people start, and we're going to make, we're going to create, like, l l let's blow these guys up. Let let's just say, let's blow up this picture and show the people, right? Let's show the people who this guy is. Who this guy is. Woody Hartman, VP Global Operations. Slave driver. Raj Kapoor. VP Revenue and Operations, slave driver. Cal Langton, VP Infrastructure Operations, slave driver. David Mayer, Vice President Business Operations, slave driver. Rand McCarvey, EVP Rideshare Technology, slave driver. Manish Gupta, VP Engineering, slave driver. Peter Morelli, Vice President Engineering, slave driver. Michelle DeBella, VP of Finance, slave driver. Michael Robb, Area Vice President, Mid-Market and Small Business Sales, slave driver. Lisa Teodosio Pisanelli, Direct, Director of Business Development and Strategy, also known as a slave driver at Lyft. John Alphanus, VP Growth and Marketplace, slave driver. Julia Haywood, VP Strategy and Chief of Staff, Slave driver. Kate Sampson, VP Risk Solutions. Slave driver. John McNeil, Chief Operating Officer, also known as Lyft's slave driver. Benjamin Sternsmith, Area Vice President, Lyft Business. Slave driver. Veronica Juarez, Area Vice President, Social Enterprise. Slave driver. And if you want to rid yourself of that title, I'm going to call you all out because... You all have the same title. We've all branded your ass with the same logo, the same name. You're a slave tech driver. If you want to rid yourself from those shackles, if you want to rid yourself from that whip that you're holding in your hand, march, leave the headquarters, go and get a decent job where you're not abusing, where you're not part of an abusive team that screws over drivers, right? All of you collectively are responsible for these little bullshit $1, $2, $3, $4 payouts. All of you are screwing over restaurant owners. All of you are screwing over your customers. All of you are screwing over your, uh, your, your rideshare drivers. These guys are not in food delivery. They're only in rideshare in Canada and the US, right? And um, to think that they bring on this guy, David Risher, and offer him a $900 million incentive to bring the stock price up to a certain level. Obviously, he's going to go straight into slave driver mode, right? Treat the people and abuse the people and manipulate the people through his abusive algorithms and his supporters here, right? These are the people that he sends out on the field and on into the streets and make sure that you are doing your job according to them. That's what they are. They are modern tech slave drivers. Right. The only way they get to rid themselves of that name is to fucking relinquish their position and walk. You're going to own that title every single day. And you think, oh, I don't have anything to do with this. Right. I, I, I just got hired to do this. No, you're part of the problem. You're part of the big problem. You bought in to this giant scam. You bought into this abuse. Don't think like, oh, I can wash my hands. I just got hired. No, you're all part of this systematic abuse, all part of this virus, screwing people over around the globe. You've got to think about that for a second, right? You know, David Barger, think about that for a second, right? Do you want to hold that title in your hand? That's how people see me? Yeah, that's how you're being branded by all of these influencers that are advocating and representing drivers. That's how we are branding you right now, right? You own your little plantations there. You're getting a fat salary. They gave you a whip. Go to work. That's who you are. David Barger, Chief Business Officer. Christina Landor, 
head of offline driver growth. <clears throat> I don't care about your damn Colgate smile. You're a slave driver, right? Matt Doherty, regional vice president of sales, also known as a Lyft slave driver. Jaden Robinson, regional vice president Lyft business, right? Also known as a Lyft slave driver. Raj Mukherjee, advisor. No, 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 you're not an advisor. You advise your team on how to abuse the drivers on the plantation. You hold the whip, Mr. Raj. You're not an advisor. You're a slave driver. Ashwin Raj, vice president. No, you're not. You're a slave driver. Nadim Sheik, Vice President, Autonomous Vehicle Programs. Not really going anywhere with those autonomous vehicle programs, but the title's still fresh on your ass, slave driver, right? Uh, Katie Dill, VP of Design. VP of Slave Drivers. Nilka Thomas, VP of Talent and Inclusion, right? Oh, this woman here, Nilka Thomas, she goes out, look, She's an African-American. She's turning against her own people. She's out there hiring talent in her company to treat us like slaves. Shame on you. Shame on you, Nilka. Michelle Rauer, VP of Claims. I'll claim one thing. You're a slave driver. Elena Arutunian, VP Controller. No, you're a controller. Yeah, for sure. A controller with a whip. You're a slave driver. Um, Megan Callahan, VP of Healthcare. No, 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 no. You're affecting the health of those plantation workers, of those slaves, right? That's who you are, slave driver. Next one, Melissa Waters, VP of marketing. You going out there and marketing, empowering your other slave drivers. That's what marketing does, right? Let, let's, let's get more results. Let's get more results out of those plantation workers, slave driver. Luke Vincent, VP Autonomous Driving, Engineering and Product, otherwise known as a slave driver. Alex Rodenthal, VP Compliance. Yeah, you want all those people on the, on the plantation to fall into compliance, right? That whip, right? Yeah, that whip that you have, Alex Rodenthal, you, you're a slave driver. That's who you are. That's how you're perceived by us millions of drivers. Mary Winfield, VP Customer Experience and Trust. No trust. How can you trust a slave driver? How can, how can the, the driver, the plantation driver workers ever trust? Trust, right? Mary Winfield, never. She's a slave driver. Christopher Donus. Christopher Anus, VP Express Drive. Yeah. Express, Express Drive, yeah. Express, fast, fast, fast. Work faster, little plantation workers. Slave driver. Will Valentine, Vice President, Head of Communications and Public Relations. I've called this fool out many times. Valentine, I think on Valentine's Day, we showed you who you are, a slave driver. Gaia Renwick, Vice President, Lyft Business. No, you're not. You're a slave driver. Heather Freeland, VP of Marketing. Slave driver. Gillian Jimenez. Executive business partner to VP Fleet and Global Operations, otherwise known as a slave driver. Omar Rascon, executive business partner uh, uh, to head of growth engineering. Yeah, you love growing those plantations, right? Get more people on the plantations. You're a slave driver. C. Watson, vice president. Really? Really? S Mr. C. Watson, really? The vice president? Slave driver. And he, he doesn't like that title. Emin Barhume, VP of Product and GM, slave driver. Rajiv Bhatia, VP of Product Drive Experience. Why don't you go and find out and experience what it's like to be on the plantation, Mr. Slave Driver? And when you pull down your pants and you get out of the shower, look at your right butt cheek. We branded it, slave driver. Jeremy Bird, Vice President, Public Engagement at Lyft. Public engagement on the plantations. Slave driver. Lisa Blackwood Capral, Vice President, Chief Accounting Officer. Slave driver. Stephanie Bowl, Executive Business Partner to Chief People Officer. Slave driver. And, and by the one, 
by the way, each, each and every one of you, you're going to come across this video, you're going to share and you're going to say this guy is nuts. No, this guy has a point. What, what, what I am saying here resonates with millions of drivers, right? You, you may be a group of 200 people and you can say, listen, this ride share professor guy is fucking crazy. He's making this dumb ass video. No, we're not. Read the comments below, right? Read the comments below. We have the numbers. We are paying all of your salaries. Never, ever, ever forget that, right? But this is how we see you. You got to understand this is how we see you. This is how we brand your right butt cheeks. And by the way, I want every single one of these individuals to know I have eight channels, collectively 200,000 subscribers. We have 80,000 people almost in this one channel that will somewhere, somehow come across a video. But it's those other eight channels, those 200,000 subscribers. I'm going to be making standalone videos on each and every one of you and educating the public and maybe your future employers, who you are. So when they do a little bit of a research or when the headhunters do a little bit of a research on Stephanie Bowl or Lisa Blackwood, right? Oh my God, why did they call you that? Because that is who you are, right? You're going to go down in the internet and social media record books as a tech slave driver. That is how we have branded you. That is the title you take when this Titanic sinks and you suddenly need a new job and you go headhunting and the headhunter comes across your video. Because I'll make damn sure with my skill sets and my team and with the keywords that we choose, that we show the future company, right? Oh, let's pull down her panties or her pants briefly. It's, oh my God, what's that thing on your right butt cheek? It's this big logo that says, I am a tech slave driver. They will get to know you, my friends. As crazy as you think my video is, I have a very weird and crazy way of getting the message across. I'm good at that. Marketing is like my forte, right? So enjoy the ride. Enjoy this little moment that you have. Because guess what? We also ended slavery many, many years ago. And we'll also end tech slavery in the next few years. It's all coming. It's all happening. The movement is going down. So our job, dear drivers, if you're at the 17 minute mark, right? And he was like, oh my God, I wonder if he's going to announce my name. Oh my God. I wonder if he's going to announce my name. Yes, I am going to announce your name. You're coming. Just hold, hold tight. If you're part of this team, you're part of the slave driver executive branch that abuses the plantation drivers, right? Your name is coming. Don't worry. Hang in tight. Buckle up. But drivers, please, U.S. drivers, we're millions of us, Canadian drivers, share the video, right? Introducing the Lyft tech slave driver team. There they are, all of them, one by one. Let's continue. Chris Brand, you think I'm going to leave you out? No, I'm not. Executive business partner to CTO and EVP of engineering and ride share. You have a fancy title, but if we really want to simplify your title, you're a slave driver. Michael Bros, head of FPNA, FPN assholes, yeah. Lift bikes and scooters. No, you're not. You're a slave driver, right? Even the people that you make um, go around the streets with their little trucks and pick up, you pay them nothing. You treat them also like plantation workers, the people that align all your scooters in the street and clean up at night. You don't pay them. It's a pittance what you pay them. Slave driver. Eric Burdulis, VP of Customer Experience. I think, Eric, you should go and take a trip down to the fields, to the plantations and the streets, right? Plantations are streets here, my friends. Go and experience what it's like to be a slave, a plantation slave. Mr. Eric Burdulis. Joyce Chan, VP Product Operations. Yeah, operating your plantations there, abusing the drivers. You're a slave driver. Christy Chapelo, executive business partner to VP Growth. Yeah, let's grow those plantations. Let's abuse those drivers. What are you? Pull down your pink Victoria secret panties. Oh, there it is. Your brand on your right butt cheek. Slave driver. 
Janet Duncan, vice president, treasurer. Oh, she keeps all the money. And all these guys with the whips here, right? All the people with the whips, all these people that we're calling out right now, extract, extracting the money, extracting the money. Who's the treasurer? Oh, it's Janet Duncan, slave driver. Ebby Erskine, heavy lifter. Oh, yeah, you make them, surely you make them do some heavy lifting, right? You know about that, don't you, slave driver. <coughs> Alexandra Escobar, executive business partner to VP Design. She designs all of those beautiful floral little pictures, right? Of the drivers. End of the day. Slave driver. David F. For fuck's sakes, David. David F. What is it? David is a fucking slave driver. That's what he is. Director, general manager, bike scooters, Southern California. <laughs> Joke. You're a slave driver. Amy Farrow, chief information officer. Slave driver. David Foster, and, and keep on using that brand. Don't be shy. And I've, I've, I've had a lot of people counter and say, oh, how, how can you use that name? You don't really understand that term. Oh, I fully understand that term, right? I fought in the days of apartheid to make things better. I worked for the Mandela family for three years. I understand there's all different types of slavery, right? Slavery as we know it, you know, ships coming across the ocean, bringing, bringing um, 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 immigrants from other countries to, 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 to the, uh, the shores of uh, the American uh, continents and then abusing them on the plantations. I, I know what that form of slavery is, but I also have seen many, many other types of slavery. I've seen, I've seen the, the apartheid slavery, but, but this here, what I'm referring to, to these people. This is tech slavery, right? Allow me to please use this word without offending any Africans or African Americans, right? Let's put that history behind us and move on. We've learned, right? It is wrong. We move on. But why should we allow a new type of slavery to emerge where companies don't pay taxes, have offshore accounts, don't pay into the system, but suck and suck like parasites, right? And you, you go over to go over to this one channel, Jeff Watts's channel, right? They hear it from hear it from an African American. He has an absolute right to turn around and say, "Yeah, they're treating us like plantation workers. They are slave drivers. They are modern day slave drivers. All of them. They own it. They own that title, and they will forever be branded on their right butt cheek, right?" Every time they look down there, they have a bath or a shower. Oh, shit. There it is. How do I get rid of it? You can't get rid of it. It's in your flesh. Just like a cow gets branded. Just like a steer or a bull gets branded. That's how we've branded you. David Foster. Vice President of Engineering. Slave driver. Heather Foster. Head of Policy Engagement. Slave driver. Jamie Gilliam Swartz. Vice President Customer Experience. Slave driver. Caitlin Gomez, head of corporate travel partnerships. This one travels to all the different plantations and makes sure that the drivers are doing their job on the streets. Slave driver. Amantha Cancella, VP engineering software, otherwise known as a slave driver. Uh, David Catcher, vice president, global operations, central region. Slave driver. Camille Rodopa, GM of Express Drive. Slave driver. Sean Agarwal, chairman of the board of directors. Really? Chairman of those plantation, those, those slave drivers. Shame on you. Slave driver. Taylor Carroll, associate product manager. Slave driver. Chris DeToro, general manager, transit bikes and scooters, mid-Atlantic region. Whatever fucking region you operate, you still... Look at your ass cheek, slave driver. Deepshika Danesakar, whatever you fucking pronounce that name. Software engineering intern level five, level six, level seven, level eight, level nine, level 10. I don't care what level you are, right? You're abusing people on the plantation in the streets. You're a slave driver. Emily Ellis, double E, general manager, Washington, D.C. 
We'll be striking there soon. We'll be protesting in Washington, D.C. soon. And you can see your sign. See the logo. We should, anybody out there that can make me a logo, like, you know, you have those steel things that you brand on the back of a bull's ass. Can somebody maybe, maybe make us a nice template, a logo? Slave driver lift, slave driver team or lift uh, slave driver executive. Can you make me a logo? I'll do a follow-up video. Jennifer Feigert, General Manager, Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, slave driver. Laura Fox, General Manager, City Bike, at Lift Bikes and Scooters, slave driver. Quinn Garcia, Advisory Board Member and Investor. Oh, he invested into those plantations, right? Slave driver. Chris Galsey, IOS Engineer, otherwise known as Slave Driver. Ash Golian. Business Development and Operations at Lyft Business. Ash, that's who you are. Slave driver. Bobby Hall, driver. Bobby Hall serves as the driver of Lyft. Hard one. You might be the only one. I don't know what they're paying you, the driver, right? She's the, she's the driver. She drives these slave drivers. Actually, you're complicit, but because of that title, you're going to get a free ride here. You're going to get a freebie. You're not going to line up like the other bulls and cows. They... Now, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a pass. You can drive on through. Julia Hammerschlag. Yeah, Hammerschlag. You know what? The hammer. Hammer hit a Hammerschlag. It's German. We're going to Hammerschlag a thing on your right butt cheek. Chief of Staff, otherwise known as Slave Driver. Chapin Hansen, Regional General Manager, Slave Driver. Anna Kauf, Chief of Staff Marketing, as pretty as you are, girl, you're still a Slave Driver. Ian Kenny, Head of Driver Marketing. Smiling there, all proud. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a Slave Driver. Jennifer King. Oh, she thinks she's the king, the king of those plantations and streets. No, you're not. You're not a king. You're a slave driver. Siok Lee, VP Total Rewards. What rewards? What are the rewards that the slaves get? Nothing. They don't get pay. Underpaid, not being kept safe on the plantations. You're a slave driver. Isa Lipkovitz, Executive Vice President, Riot Chain Engineering. Slave driver. Audrey Liu, VP Design. Slave driver. Loni Mahanta, VP Policy Development and Research. Oh, she does the research. Where can we start the next plantation and bring all those little drivers onto that plantation? Slave driver. Taggart Mithison, VP Product Autonomous. Slave driver. Jesse McMillan, VP Creative Director. How do we get creative? How do we create more plantations out there? Slave driver. <laughs> Teresa Miller, controller. Oh, yeah, that's who you are. You're definitely a controller. A controller of the whip. A controller of the algorithms. A controller. Slave driver. <sighs> Andres Munoz, VP Partner Operations and Business Strategy. What other strategies can we use to exploit these drivers? Looking in your face, slave driver. Vikram Naidu, VP of FPNA, FPN assholes. There are all those asshole slave drivers. That's who you are, <laughs> slave driver. Alan Narcis, regional vice president, slave driver. Patrick Quintana, director, general manager, manager of those plantations. Those street plantations, also known as, what else? Just pull down his pants briefly. Whoop, slave driver. Rob Recruitiak, like his last name says that maybe he recruits more, uh, more of these uh, slave drivers. Senior Director of Product Management, slave driver. Curtis Scott, Vice President, Risk and Custom Platform, slave driver. Ben Shanken. Senior Director and Product at GM of Lyft Media. Ben, that's who you are. Slave driver. 
John Swigert, Senior Director, Head of Service Network, Slave Driver. Emily Tannenbaum, Regional Vice President East, also Slave Driver. Matthew W., Vice President, People Operations. Oh, People Operations. How about Slave Operations? Slave Driver. Long list, eh? A lot of these guys. But, but think how many millions of people these 200 control. Think about it, right? It's, this, it's the same formula here, right? Where one controls hundreds and hundreds of thousands. It's the same thing, just a different era. We're in that tech slavery era, right? And we've got to call it as it is. So, um, Angela Wisbrock, VP Global Operations, operating those plantations, slave driver. T. Bolt Martin, Technical Chief of Staff, slave driver. Ailing Robbins, Chief of Staff to VP of Product, Slave Driver. Dana Kramer, Chief of Staff to the Chief People Officer at Lyft, Slave Driver. Shaheen Lavi Ruse, Data Scientist. Look at the data. How much is that plantation creating profit? How much is that plantation over there, those streets? How much are they creating? Slave Driver. Aaron Loip, last guy on the list there, Slave Driver. Go up to the top. Let's just, let's only leave the people out at human resources, right? Can't leave them out. Johnny Chang. How can we leave the, they control the people. They control the plantations. Johnny Chang, slave driver. Jennifer G, business recruiter. Yeah, recruiter for her plantations. Slave driver. Matt Tag, director of strategic talent sourcing. Try to find the best talent, right? Yep, still, you're a, you're a slave driver. Heather Torres, head of people and analytics, analyzes those numbers of the slaves. Slave driver. Katie Rustin, HR business partner. Slave driver. Davina Singh, human resources. Slave driver. Anita Brown, slave driver. Jamie Regan, slave driver. Tiffany Ligon, slave driver. P Priti Kumar, recruiting team lead. Oh, she's the... Top recruiter over there, slave driver. So there it is, my friends, right? Um, tough one, tough one, but this little pretty pink logo started off with a mustache. Look, let's not be fooled. It's a new form of slavery. I'm calling it tech slavery, algorithmic slavery. Well documented. I mean, they've done research at Duke and, and, and Ivy League universities on this type of slavery. There, there's many, many publications. I'm not making this name up. We're just amplifying it. We, what we are doing here successfully with all of these YouTube channels, we are branding them for who they are, right? And I'll dedicate another video, same type of video, to the Uber team and to the DoorDash team. Oh, now the DoorDash guy, DoorDash says, oh my God, he's going he's gonna to brand me. Yes, I am. I'm going to call out all of these companies because there's always 100 to 250 of you that work in these big buildings that are conducting the same style of abuse. We have to call you out. We have to call you and brand you for who you are. You're a slave driver. You're taking advantage of you are abusing gig workers around the world. You deserve to be called out. So as weird, as unconventional, as strange as my video is, read the comments. Pretty damn sure that people agree with me. You are who you are until you rid yourself from those codes. Your comments, please.